Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a reading wrap up video. So I have not done any sort of wrap up videos um, since I've been reading and so I'm going to in today's video go through all of the books that I've read so far this year. Kind of a little bit tell you like what I thought about them um, and then also give you my ratings on each of the books. So we're going to go month by month here. I'm going to do January through April um, and then starting in May it'll be a month by month video. Um, so we're going to start with January. I read three books in January starting with Almost There, A Twisted Tale. So this is the Tiana version of Twisted Tales. Um, I actually had just gotten this book for Christmas so it was an easy uh, option as a first book. Um, so the what if question is what if Tiana made a deal that changed everything um and so my I I'm gonna be looking down as well because I do have my reading journal which I will probably do at some point a video of it maybe I don't know um where I have my thoughts and whatnot written down um so I'm going to kind of just skim over those and kind of give you a little summary of my thoughts. So with this book, there is a lot of familiar characters from the Princess and the Frog movie. Um, one thing that I really loved about this book is that I was able to see... Uh, I'm going to move this down just a tiny bit. There we go. I really loved being able to see Tiana and her dad's relationship. Uh, that was a big, like, aspect of this book. Um, and there's also a really good adventure in this book. Like, she's just an adventurous girl. And so that was really cool to see uh, as well. The what if question obviously has to do with the villain in the movie, Dr. Facilier. Uh, and so she basically makes a deal with him and... It kind of goes wrong, but together with her friends, she finds a way to kind of get out of the deal or something along those lines. Um, so my rating for this book was a 4.5 out of 5. So all the ratings are, are out of 5, so I gave it a 4.5. I really did enjoy this book. Um, and if you are a Disney fan, a Princess and the Frog fan, I would highly recommend reading this book. Next book I read was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I was really excited to read this book primarily because the movie is coming out this year and it stars Blake Lively as the main character. So I was really excited to read this book. Um, when I initially read it though, it was supposed to come out in February and then it got pushed back till June. So I was still not obviously seeing the movie yet because it's not June yet, but I'm really excited to see the movie. Uh, of It Ends With Us. So I really, really loved this book. I gave it a five out of five. And some people have mixed uh, emotions or mixed thoughts on this book. I quite frankly loved it. I loved the characters. I loved Lily and Ryle until they were just not good for each other. Um, I just love the way that this book was written as well. Uh, looking at my notes here, it. I will say too though that there is a. Tr I would say trigger warning for this book. Um, for like abuse, primarily there's a lot of like, talk of abuse in this book. So if that's a trigger for you, I would not read it. But I personally really enjoyed this book. So then, of course, after I finished that book, I had to go read It Starts With Us, which is the second book, even though you would think it would go reverse. It actually is this book first and then this book second. So It Starts With Us is the second book of this little little mini. It's not really a series. It's just, just those two books. But um, I also gave this book a five. I really enjoyed this book as well. It literally picks up exactly where it ends with us ended and um let's see I loved the love story between Lily and Atlas which you do hear a little bit about Atlas in the first book as well this was such a good read 
I, I just, it left me wanting more. And I think I read somewhere in the front or the back. Let's see. Somewhere I read that this book wasn't even going to be a book. That it was going to just be the one book. But then, she, so I don't remember exactly where I read it. But I really loved this book. So another five for me. So those were the three books that I read in January, 4.5, 5, and a 5. So we did a really, we had a really good start in January with ratings. Um, and I did start off small with three books because obviously January was my first month like getting back into reading. So I didn't read at a fast, like a faster pace. It was kind of sporadic throughout the month that I was reading but um on to February where I, I actually read five books so I did step it up a little bit so the first book that I read in February was another Twisted Tales it was Mirror Mirror so this is the Snow White Twisted Tales the question is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince and quite honestly, I can't remember how that played out, per se. Um, so what I said here was, this book kind of follows the Snow White story with some differences. It has the evil queen's perspective as well as her history. So you really get to see who she is. It had a slow start, but ended up being enjoyable. And I gave this a 3.5. So again, it was enjoyable um you if you are really interested in finding more out finding out more about the evil queen and what where she came from that's kind of how where this goes um and yeah it was it was it was overall enjoyable i don't really have too much uh else to say about it so then the next three actually all correspond together it is a series i read all three back to back because that's just what I wanted to do at the time. So it's the LA Candy series by Lauren Conrad. So that's the, what the first book is called is LA Candy. This, um, I gave a 3.5 and let's see, another slow start, but ultimately it was enjoyable. I really liked Jane and Brayden's friendship. I didn't really care for Jesse. I found the Hollywood vibe of this book to not really be my style, but did find the inside look of a re reality show kind of interesting. So this book is basically a couple of girls that I think they're fresh out of high school. Yeah, they're 19. So a couple of 19 year old girls, they move to LA and they get picked up by a producer to star in their own reality show. Um, with a couple of other girls and so they kind of instantly become stars and live the Hollywood life uh, with all the drama that comes with it so that's kind of what this book is about um, and then it goes on into the next book this book is called Sweet Little Lies it picks up right where LA Candy left off and kind of continues the story um, there's a big scandal that happens with the main character Jane in the first book that trend it co comes over into the second book and one of the other girls um Madison who was actually behind it in the first place is now acting as her best friend um and her other her original best friend Scarlett from the first book is now kind of being put on the back burner um and you know just the just the drama with between 19 year old girls on a reality set and in the Hollywood world and I don't really remember too too much else about this book per se let's see what my thoughts are oh yeah I did enjoy this one a lot more than the first one the first one took me a, a little bit to get into and to get through uh and then once I did get through it it ended up being pretty interesting and, and I, I was pulled into the story so that's why I like dove into this one really quick and um enjoyed this one a whole lot more than the first one because I was already like deep into the story 
Uh, there was so much drama in this book and let's see what else oh um the best friend of the main character Scarlet ends up hooking up with one of the uh, camera crew that's what they are C camera crew and um they like I said they kind of like fall apart when the whole scandal thing happens and um Madison kind of like stood up and took Scarlett's place and yeah that was a rating of a four and then the third book is Sugar and Spice and again I really enjoyed this book overall I did really enjoy the whole entire series and this one was a 4.5 so each book kind of went up a half point uh, each rating, each book. Um, so again, this is the third and final book in the series. And ultimately at the end, I was actually really sad that it was over because it was, it ended up being really good. Um, I know I'm focusing more on what I'm, what I'm reading and writing here because quite frankly, I, it would take me a minute to actually remember what happens in all of these books that I read months ago. So that's why I'm kind of using my reading journal as like a guidance because otherwise I really don't know what I would say. But yeah, this book also had so much drama. Like this is, if you, if you love reading about drama, read this series. I'm telling you, drama, drama, drama. But it was good. It was so good. And then the final book that I read in February is the way I used to be this book also I'm gonna say is another trigger warning um because the main character Eden gets raped um so if that is a sensitive topic topic for you I would avoid this but it is a very uh overall I would say it was a very good book I did have mixed emotions about it about it um but overall I did enjoy it it also I really got emotional at the end of the book. Um, let's see. Yeah, just really emotional overall, especially like I said at the end. Um, the characters were cool, I, I guess. Um, like I said, the main character, Eden, is primarily who we're following. Um... Also, this book is broken up into four parts, and each part is a year in high school. So part one is freshman year, part two is sophomore year, part three is junior year, and part four is senior year. So it goes through all four years of high school with her. Um, and yeah, I really, well, I, at certain points reading this book too, I did really feel like I was a part of the story, and just, it just... Yeah, I, I can't think of the words right now for what I'm trying to say, but very emotional, but very good. I enjoyed it. And again, trigger warning if you are sensitive to that topic. But overall, I give this book a four. On to March. So the first book I read in March. Okay, so actually this is a little backwards. So I technically started reading Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh and then I kind of like soft DNF'd it or kind of like just set it to the side because I wasn't feeling it. But we'll come back to that because I did end up finishing it later on in that month. So I'll come back to that. So then after that I decided to pick up Flawless by Elsie Silver. This is the first book in the Chestnut Springs series. Um, and I loved this book. I gave it a five absolutely loved it i loved summer and Rhett together mm, i loved it i don't even like i had all the feels all the feels while reading this book uh it was just it was good but also a lot of these books that i'm gonna be talking about here in the next several are very very spicy very spicy and if you don't like that i would not read them because they're spicy I, I don't, I'm not the best person to say, I don't know, like a level of spice or 
like I feel like each person has their comfort level with spice and um what how much is too much and for me these are these aren't too much they're they're good um but yeah they're they're spicy but I love them so this was a five next up is ready or not this book was so cute um overall i really enjoyed it this was a four for me uh i loved eve who is the main character and her love interest shep uh they have known each other practically i think their whole lives because her best friend is his sister so they've always been in each other's lives and it's just really good. They they don't get together until towards the end of the book. But it's really good. It's really cute. Uh, and I, I really liked it. So that was that. Next, we have Twisted Love, which is the first book in the Twisted series. This book was a five for me. I really, really loved this book. And again, Spice overload like spicy very spicy and i had so many emotions when reading this book like literally i could not put it down i laughed i cried i smiled i loved this book i it there was also a bit of mystery in this book that kind of surprised me a little bit but in a good way i was kept on my toes and just it blew me away. I loved this book and I'm so excited to continue the series. So again, that was a five. Next up, we have Happy Place by Emily Henry. This book is very popular. And I, I gave it a four. It's not my favorite and I'm not, I don't understand the hype. It was a good book. Don't get me wrong. I didn't enjoy it. But I'm not understanding the hype over it quite. Like, I don't get it. Like, I, I'm not saying it's a bad book. I get I get why people love it, I guess. But, like, not to the extent of where people are, like, like, I don't know. They're just, I, I see so many good things about this book. And it was good. Like I said, don't get me wrong. But I just don't, I just don't see how it was. It wasn't that good. In my opinion like i said i gave it a four anyways on to my thoughts i loved the, the six characters the friendship that they had and the tradition that they had of going to the cottage every year one thing i think the one thing that i didn't love about this book is that literally the two main characters win and harriet i think i'm saying their names correctly they were working so hard to not be together and it was driving me nuts like that there was no reason, no reason whatsoever that they had to work that hard to not be together when they knew that they were destined to be together. Mm, I just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyways, this was a four. I did enjoy it. It was, it was good. I would recommend it, I suppose, but wasn't definitely was not my favorite. And the last book for March is we're going back to Binding 13. So after I finished Happy Place, I did end up picking this book back up. Basically where I left off because I did read like 60 pages or so. And as you can tell, this book is huge, first of all. And the, the words are so, you can't even, I don't even know if you can tell. They're tiny, tiny words. My dog's trying to get in. He's, the door is shut all the way. He's trying to scratch in to get in. Anywho, this is a long book. This book is over 600 pages. Just over 600 pages. I think, honestly, I think that's why I kind of put it off to the side. It was, it was so overwhelming. It was so overwhelming because it's such a big book. But... With that being said, I did read it. I did finish it in the month of March. I gave it a 4.5. And 
there's a lot of thoughts and feelings with this book. Another trigger warning, I would say, there's more talk. This book also has talk of abuse and the main character gets abused. Um, which that part I, I hated. I hated reading about how she got abused and it wasn't just her it was her siblings as well like it's the her dad her dad is the one who abuses her and her siblings and they just have a very rough home life um and it doesn't help that at school previously at school she was also being bullied and abused which is why she then got transferred to the school of Toman, I think it's Toman College. It's a high school though. Also, this book takes place in what country? Um, <laughs> Ireland. This is set in south, the south of Ireland, during the time frame of two thousand five, and contains Irish dialogue and slang. So the, the language in here is also very difficult to kind of wrap your head around and understand, um, like the way that they talk. Um, but the main characters, Shannon and Johnny. <laughs> I loved, I loved their relationship. Uh, and it just progressed throughout the book. And... I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was very interesting to take to read this book that took place in another country. And I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. And this book freaking ended on a cliffhanger. Like literally in the middle of this big drama situation, high intensity situation. And it just ended in the middle of it. In the freaking middle of it. I, I did not like that. I did not like that at all. So now I have, I actually, I actually think I did, I did buy it. I have the next book, uh, Keeping 13 up in my TBR that I own. So I will be picking that up as soon as I can. Um, but 4.5 really enjoyed that book overall. And these are the books that I read in March. And finally, on to our last month. April. That was five books, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, five books. And then I also read five in April. So first up, we have The Bromance Book Club. This book I gave a 3.5. I thought it was a really cute book. Um, let's see. It was a very interesting concept. So basically what this is, is the main character, Gavin, and his wife, Thea. I think that's how you say it. They're kind of having a rough patch in their marriage and are, and are about to get divorced. And he's basically trying to fight to get her back. And so his friends, who are also his teammates on a baseball team, have this secret bromance book club where they read romance books to um basically they're reading romance books to kind of like understand what their wives want i guess um like I said, it's an interesting concept very cute overall uh 3.5 like i said next up Pretend you're mine. Pretend you're mine. Yes. Yes. Five. Freaking five. I really loved this book. I loved the small town aspect and the characters. They were so easy to love. The two main characters, Luke and Harper, were literally everything. Literally everything. They just make so much sense together and I loved it so much. It just all came together so nicely. I loved this book. So, so much. I could keep going on. I really could. But I'm going to stop there. Five. Next up. The Do-Over. Again, a really cute book. I really enjoyed it. It was cute. I thought that the, 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 co so the concept of this book, before I get too far into it, is the main character, Emily, is basically reliving the same Valentine's Day over and, and over and over again. 
kind of like Groundhog's Day, like the movie Groundhog's Day, where he kind of keeps reliving the same day. It's like that, but it's on Valentine's Day. And she keeps reliving it over and over and over again um, until she figures out like what needed to happen, I guess, to kind of end it. Um, but I thought it was so cute. I thought the concept of the repeating days was so interesting to read. I did catch on pretty quickly to what needed to happen in order to end the repeating days. Um, but I really enjoyed it. It was a very easy book to read. I literally read this book in like a day. A day. Yeah, I started on, on the 15th and I ended it on the 13th or the, the 16th. So I read it basically I guess, so I, technically it was two days because i read it on the 15th and the 16th so very easy quick read um 3.75 on that one very cute <sighs> forever and ever this book took me forever pun intended to get through i actually don't have my thoughts written out for this book yet or the next one because i've been behind so I still need to update those, but I'm going to kind of just give you my thoughts the best I can from what I can remember. So the main character is Brick and the female character is Remy. Um, again, they grew up together in the same town, small town called Mackinac, Mackinac, I think is how, how it was said. Mackinac. Yeah, Mackinac Island, um, which I can't remember exactly where that is. Michigan. It's in Michigan. Um, this book does take place in the winter, which is a very, very rough season for them. Um, and this book also had a, uh, mystery aspect. That's what I'm trying to say. Mystery aspect. So there's mystery, there's romance, uh, overall, I did actually really enjoy this book. It would just, it just took me forever to get through. I did feel like it was longer than it needed to be. Uh, and there are certain parts of the book that just didn't need to be in the book. It could, they could have, this book could have done without those certain parts or scenes. Um, it's also kind of a slow burn. Like they took a while to actually get together. But when they did, it was very good. And the mystery aspect gets really intense at the end of it because you don't really know what's going on with that part in the beginning. But like towards the end of the book, it really starts to come out and um, things get pieced together. And then there's a high intensity situation. Um, but yeah, overall, really enjoyed this book. It was just really long and, and kind of, not wouldn't say hard to get through, but like I said, there was just certain things that needed didn't need to be in here that made it longer than it needed to be. And I was kind of slow at reading it because of that. Like I kind of wanted to just get to the good stuff. Um, so rating on this one is another 3.75. And the last book in april is in five years again i don't have my thoughts written on here but the rating was a 3.5 this book was actually really cute i enjoyed it it was pretty easy to read as well it's not too too long there's like 250 pages very quick very easy um so the main character danny she lives in new york and is in the career of law not like she's not like an actual like court lawyer but she's some sort of lawyer ish type of i don't know anywho um she gets engaged to her boyfriend and that night when she goes to bed and then she wakes up and it's five years in the future uh and then she when she goes back to sleep she wakes up again in its present day. So she was only in the five years in the future that one time. And since then, when from when she woke up, she was doing everything that she could to kind of prevent what happened in five years from happening. Um, and 
I don't really know what else to say without spoiling what happens. So I'm not going to say too much more on this book, but it was really cute. Like I said, easy to read. Um, I really enjoyed this book. It was very interesting. And I will also say, I guess I should say trigger warning on this one too, because it does deal with um, cancer. So if that's a sensitive subject for you as well, I would kind of maybe not read this or be cautious with it. Um, but overall, what did I say it was? 3.5? <laughs> yeah 3.5 and that's gonna be it that's all the books I've read from January to April um I feel like my average is five books because I read five books pretty much every single month except for January um so yeah uh that's going to wrap up this video I know it's kind of long but I'm a talker apparently in videos I'm not this talkative in real life I promise um you'd be surprised how quiet I am. Um, but that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys. If you sucked all the way to the end, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully you got some book recommendations from my video if you've not read any of these. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a magical day. Bye guys.